Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we will see how to create FAQ in our SharePoint Online. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and to demonstrate today's video, I have created a brand new site with the name of FAQ site. So I will open the site in a new tab. So now we'll go to site contents. And first of all, in order to create a FAQ, we will create a, you know, one list. So I will create a brand new list. We'll select a blank list. I will give it a name FAQ of the list and we'll click on create. All right. So our list is now successfully created. And whenever we create a list uh, out of the box, one title column is always there. Um, and now what we will do, we will, uh, we have one column with the name of questions and in another column we will have with the name of answers. So this is the, basically the FAQ, which we are going to create. So I will, uh, you know, modify the name of this title column. Okay. Though we can create another column with the name of questions. So basically we need two columns. So I will, uh, you know, rename the first column name, which is the title. So I will go to column settings and I will click on rename. I will give this column name questions all right and we'll click on save so our title column is successfully renamed now the answer will be you know the in the format of text so we'll click on add column and we'll and we will create text column so we'll click on next and here we will give it a name answer we have given the name of the column and thus the column type will be single line of text we do not uh, want to put any default value of this column so we'll leave it as it is uh, this is there will be no calculated value as well if you will see the more options you can set the maximum number of characters uh, for this you know your answer column it's it depends on you and if you want to require this column contains information uh, so you can you know toggle this on enforce a unique value we will set it no and then the last is add to all content types we can you know leave it the default settings and now we'll click on save all right uh, so we have successfully created our two columns one with the name of question and this is the answer column we only need two columns as per our requirement so now we will add some you know information in my question column and as well as in the answer column so for this video demonstration i have cre i have only three questions like first question is how to connect with the it team and once the user will you know expand this faq he should get the mail address of my it team the second question will be like how to enable the irm so i have created a you know youtube video related to this topic so this will be my answer and another question is how to save template of a publishing site in shape online and this is the video link so basically we'll put questions in the question column and answers in the answer column so let's see how we can do that so first of all i will click on new and in the question section i will first of all enter this question how to contact it team and the answer will be the below one so i will put it here the answer and i will click on save all right similarly i will add rest of my two entries as well quickly all right so as you can see i have entered my questions and as well as the answers in front of it but i want my user to you know when they will go to this question they have to just you know simply expand it and then they should get the answers of these columns so let's see how we can you know create a faq now based on these two columns so for that first of all we'll click on the gear icon i will go to list settings i will scroll all the way to bottom and here we have the option to create a view so i will create a you know the brand new view in order to create a faq all right we can you know create our new view using the existing view which is the all items but i will go with the standard view we'll create you know uh, the new view all right i will give it a name faq okay if you will scroll down basically these are the two columns, but I, I will group by using the column name questions. So I will uncheck this, you know, the column, I will only keep answer. If you will scroll down more here, you will get an option of group by. So you have to just simply expand it. And here 
the group by column will be my question column so i will select it rest everything will be same and now we'll click on okay all right so here you could see we have you know created our view and now once the user will come to this list and if they want to see like how to contact the it team they just simply have to click on this and they will get the answers so basically this is in the form of faq only they have to just simply expand it and this is the video which they have to watch in order to see so you can expand it and it will become in a single line so friends our faq is successfully created based on my sharepoint list so once the user will navigate to this list they have to just simply expand it and they once they will see like how to contact id team they will get the answers below of the questions similarly if they will you know expand the last question how to save a template or publishing site they can click on it and they can you know just simply see the answers of all the faq so friends that's how you can create a faq uh, using the sharepoint list however one more important thing like if you will go to the home of this you know sharepoint page so basically we can also add that faq on our sharepoint page as well so how we can do that we will just simply edit this page and here at the bottom i will click on this plus i will select the my list web part i will edit the web part so here it will ask me to select the list so my list which i want to display in the web part is faq then it will ask the view so i have created a view with the name of faq only so i will select this view and at the bottom if you want to hide the command bar you can just toggle it on and if you want to hide the see all button you can also toggle it on once you will click on apply you could see our faq is now on the home page of this sharepoint site you can republish it and now once user will you know navigate to this faq site if he will scroll down he could see the faq in the home page of the site and if he will expand it similarly he will see the answers of the faq and this is basically we called a accordion style faq so friends that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video